On this cruise, we leave South Bend, Indiana to Port Canaveral in Florida on the Carnival Sunshine to go to Nassau, Grand Turk, San Juan, and St. Thomas, where I ask my girlfriend a very important question, and her boys are in on the secret. We leave out of Port Canaveral. This is a seven-day cruise to the Eastern Caribbean. I love St. Thomas. Uh, it's one of my favorite ports, so I made sure that that was the port that we went to. And, uh, and we got a family room, which had the bunk beds, which you'll see right here. And the boys really enjoyed those. And uh, we just explored the ship, hung out, and uh, made it an early night. And then the next morning, we were set for Nassau. The very next day was a sea day. We spent all the time on the ship and uh, we got to walk around and get to know it better. Just so everyone's aware, um, my cousin Alicia and her husband Michael joined us on this cruise. So you'll see them during this uh, video. And uh, this is one of the reasons I like the cove balconies on Carnival better because it's much more private and people can't see, <laughs> can't see you from above. But uh, on the regular balconies, they can. But it's always nice to have a balcony. That night for dinner, we had fancy night. And we all dressed up. And the boys got dressed up as well, even though they, I don't think they were too happy with wearing ties. We got to uh, meet the captain and take a picture with the captain, which was always nice. And there's uh, Alicia, my cousin, and her husband, Michael. And we had some seafood and steaks for dinner. The next morning, Maria and I went to breakfast, and uh, the boys stayed in the room, and they wouldn't get out of the room. In the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, there is a water park on board. They are on a cruise ship. There are girls in bikinis out there. There are putt-putt. There is a rope course. And these two little ingrates are inside the room doing nothing but watching a stupid movie they can rent when we get back home. What is wrong with you two? I'm really, there's something wrong with her. Seriously, seriously. And she's out there sleeping. At least she's on the deck, or on the patio. Maria and I decided to go out on deck and get some sun, and uh, to get some warmth. We really enjoyed that. The ship is a very nice ship. And when we came back, the boys are still in the room, roughhousing. <laughs> That evening, we went to the Sunrise Restaurant to dinner with my cousin Alicia and her husband Michael, and we had a real nice dinner. The food on the Sunshine is excellent. We really enjoyed it. And then the girls went to the casino, had a few drinks. Birds of St. Thomas came to welcome us, and uh, the boys were here to help me pop the question. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I decided that I was going to pop the question to Maria at Banana Daiquiri's up on Mountaintop on St. Thomas. It has a beautiful view and uh, has wonderful banana daiquiris, and uh, I thought that'd be the best place to ask her to marry me. Banana Daiquiris is a souvenir shop and it's got a huge deck out back where you can see the whole Caribbean Sea and all the islands. It's really nice and beautiful. 
I learned later that the initial hesitation from Maria was because she was thinking that I was going to try to marry her right then and there. <laughs> but I tried to explain to her I wasn't going to do that and uh, I just wanted to ask her to marry me. And luckily, she said yes. After the proposal, we made it a beach day on St. Thomas where the boys got to swim and snorkel and uh, they found some conch shells. Of course, the locals told them to put them back and they did. St. Thomas will always be special to us. Our next port of call the very next day was Old Town, San Juan, Puerto Rico. The boys really loved seeing the old men on the street rolling cigars. And uh, then we went to eat at Race's restaurant where I had plantains and uh, it was delicious. After Old Town, we had some time left, so of course, we went to the beach and uh, let the boys cool down. Pretty nice. The next day was a sea day and uh, we just did a lot of eating and uh, spending time with our family. And we had a real good time for dinner that night. And after dinner that night, we went out and uh, saw a show. And uh, the theater on the Sunshine is really pretty. And uh, they have good shows. Our last port of call is Grand Turk. And uh, Grand Turk is a special island for us because we like to go to Jack Shack, which is a bar uh, down the beach a ways. And, uh, the boys really loved Jack Shack and Topher the dog and the jerk chicken and the swimming and snorkeling. Maria wrote a little reminder in the sand for me now that we were engaged. It was very special. And of course, the boys had to ride the flow rider. They had a great time. <laughs> I got him wiping out. And Jared, being the avid snowboarder, I was surprised how well he took to the Flowrider and uh, started doing tricks. We were very impressed. Brandon, also an avid snowboarder, uh, started taking to the Flowrider, but it took him a little bit longer to really learn.
While the boys were enjoying the flow rider, Marie and I went and enjoyed the pool and the bar. And of course, she had to show off her new engagement ring. That's a video. Engagement. <laughs> what a great day we had at Grand Turk. It's one of our favorite islands. Our next and last day on the ship is a sea day. And uh, the boys really love the breakfast on the sunshine. And uh, they really do make great breakfast. And our last night on the ship, we enjoyed a show with the boys. And uh, then we went to one of the bars and we did a lot of dancing. And we really enjoyed the, uh, the band that played there. And we enjoyed them enough to get a picture with them. It was wonderful family time, a great cruise, and uh, I gained a fiance who is now my wife. Well, thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, please hit like, subscribe, and comment below.